I'll start by using the rand function and this will get me a random number between 0 and 1. Then to stop this from recalculating, I'll right click and copy and then right click and paste as values to turn these all into actual numbers. Then I'll use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift and L to get the buttons at the top. And in the random number column, I will sort this by smallest to largest. And now the table is randomly sorted. So if I want five random values, then I can select the top five values in the table and Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And because this table is sorted randomly, I now have five random values and I can go to the date column and sort this from oldest to newest to get the table back in the original order. Now let's do this with a formula. I'll start by using the rows function and I'll select the whole of the table and this will tell me how many rows there are in the table. Then I'll use the rand array function and this works the same as the rand function, but this time I can have more than one number. So for the rows, I'll put in the number 18, and this will get me 18 random numbers between 0 and 1. Then I'll use the sort by function, and the array will be the whole of this table. Then we'll be sorting this array by the random numbers and enter and now I have the table randomly sorted. Then I'll use the take function and the array will be the table with the randomly sorted numbers and then for the rows I'll put in the number 5 and that will take the first 5 values from the table. So now I have five random values and I can press F9 on the keyboard to recalculate this and get five different values each time. Now let's put this formula all together. So I'll copy the sort by formula and then I will paste that in here to replace this cell reference. Then I'll copy the rand array formula and paste that in here to replace this cell reference. And then I'll copy the rows formula and I'll paste that in here to replace this cell reference. And now I no longer need any of these values and I have everything together in one formula. You can also turn this formula into a let formula and a lambda formula. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to get a random subsample of a data set in Excel and that is everything.